you and welcome to the shack staying happy and creative my name is barbara gray from clarity here in the uk and i'm hoping that a few of you are going to join me for another doodling session we're midstream at the moment um i'm hoping that paul our lovely paul church is in the building with me perhaps you could just let me know that the sound is okay paul and that we're all hooked up other than that I'm very tired today after a super busy, uh, a super busy day um, up at Create and Craft on the telly. It went very well. Sound is nice and clear. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, it was a bit slow to start with. I have to tell you, a bit of a mind game because you, you know, it just wasn't. First 20 minutes of the show, first half hour of the show is very, very slow sales. And then suddenly, boom, it kicked in and then it went mad. So it was, um, that's why I don't have talk back, you see, when I'm on television. I don't, I don't think I need it. That's what the presenter's there for. But, um, so I don't do talk back because I need to concentrate on what I'm doing and not worry about sales, you know? That's the way I see it anyway. And, uh, and it works for me. But I can also tell, because there's code, isn't there? You know, if they're not calling percentages and Paul Church is sitting there and he's not making eye contact with me, <laughs> you know that it's not going well. <laughs> it was cool. Good morning. Come on in. Yeah, and then it went, then you all turned up to the party and you all purchased, which was a relief, I must tell you. Anyway, so all in, all, all's well that ends well, as they say. Very nice to have your company. Grüß dich, Marion. Schön, dass du auch da bist. And how is the weather in the north of Germany, Marion? In in Crowborough, here in the southeast of England, it's a beautiful sunny day. And I will say I've got a wasp's nest somewhere here in the rafters. And I keep letting them out and chatting to them. Because I guess they must, there must be a reason why they're on this earth and it's not my job to kill them. Um, but if I suddenly scream and shout Jasper, you know why? Because there's one near my ear. <laughs> anyway, good morning, everybody. And you rock. Nice cup of tea. I'm going to take travelling gently this morning. Do you know this is bus 323 of the shack leaving? the station leaving the depot yeah so a nice cup of tea and first mince pie of the year i didn't have time for breakfast don't usually do breakfast to be fair but it was calling to me from the cupboard i bought it uh, i bought them uh last friday at mark's expense very expensive mark's is isn't it i know my mum wanted to go there um, so uh, obviously we went to Marks, but I think that it's a bit pricey. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat this and talk at the same time, so it's going to have to just call to me until the end. I do love a mince pie, don't you? Mm. Oh yeah, full butter. <coughs> you do get what you pay for. Yeah, so there you go. Paul says nice top. Well, thank you very much, uh, Paul. I've got so much clobber. I've got so many clothes, you know. And I don't throw stuff away. That's the thing. I haven't bought much for ages. But because I never throw anything away, because it never kind of... It always fits. And it doesn't... It doesn't age. You know, I buy stuff that's not trendy, if you know what I mean. So I don't throw it away. So I've, so I've made my mind up. I'm going to wear stuff that I haven't worn for ages. <laughs> just just to make use of it either i use it or i give it to charity but it can't just it can't just languish for lawn in the cupboard can it in the wardrobe anyway come on in sitting at my son's house today watching you live for a change oh i'm happy to hear it i must say thursday evening the seven o'clock shack that we've added to our weekly uh, routine has been very well received. We've got loads of messages saying that folks are very, very happy to be able to join us on a, on a Thursday evening at seven o'clock, especially uh, people across the pond, our Canadian friends, our American friends, you know, people that are in a different time zone to us. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm not going to eat that mince pie because I've got it stuck right at the back of my throat now. 
So should we crack on? Shall we get started? Um, <laughs> right, so last week, what we were doing, we were sort of midstream at the moment, aren't we? But I thought it might be really nice to have a look at what we're doing. And then, let me just clear the deck. It looks like the proverbial bomb has hit it in here. A bomb's hit it. Because, look, there's nowhere to put anything. Because when I come back from the telly, I come back with boxes, 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 boxes of all the different demos. See, because everything's in boxes. And then before I start again, I have to put it all away so that I can find it to put it all back in the boxes. Again. So um, so at the moment, um, that's my job after the shack is to put it all away again. So that because next week I've got another um, another telly one day special. Really cool. And, uh, and so but before I can prepare for it, I do need to put all the gear away. Otherwise, I'll never find anything. Such as life. Could think of worse ways to make a living, I gotta say. But um, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. So today we're just going to travel gently and wing it, if that's all right with you. Let's have a look where we're at. So this is what we were doing. On Thursday night, we drew our deer, didn't we? <laughs> He's so cool. Do you remember? That was the one that we were working towards. And then, and then... We, oh, I'll tell you what I did do this morning. I took one of those clever stamps that was on the telly yesterday. So I thought, do you know, I think this would look really nice if it had twigs. And then I thought, whoa, hang on a minute, there's a stamp set with twigs. Actually, at first, I thought, I know, I could hang some mistletoe. But after you lot, yes, last week, started saying that it looked like genitals, dear genitals, I thought, look, I was going, <laughs> I was going to put the mistletoe in there, and I thought, oh, what about that one? <laughs> Don't look, Ethel. Right. So, <laughs> so then I thought, no, no, we'll go with the, we'll go with the, the little sprig because that's really, really Christmassy. So I took a little bit of tracing paper, and then I multiple stamped, and I thought that looked really cool. Then I took the little star. See there. Nice little star. So yeah, I thought, since these stamps were all stacked up behind me, I thought they're easy to find. So um, so yeah, so that's what we were doing. And today, well, actually, let me take you back one step further because what we were doing last Monday, it was the tree, right? So there is a plan here. We've got the deer and the whole idea is the whole idea. The whole idea is that we make these apertures and then we fill the apertures. So, for example, and we were using little bits of um, tracing paper just to sketch up these ideas. Let's see, like the parcels, little packages. And then this one's really nice. This is the one I went with, the little deer. Or the trees. That one, oh no, then there's a candle. That was really nice. And then that one was the one that we used in the, sorry about this, that was the one that we went to there, because I thought well, that was pretty cool. So what we've got now, we've got loads of bits and pieces, but what, what we have got is a big deer and a big tree. Yeah. And then we've got little scenes inside that we can interchange, swap out. Right. Cool idea. Do you know, I had another idea um, with that deer stamp. I'm sure it's been done before. I think I've even drawn it before. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you if you made his antlers look like little, so you could, you could instead, if you struggled with the antlers and they look like coat hangers, you could always use the, the little twig here. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so, so what we're going to do now is transfer the trick now is to find the tree where's the tree right and we're going to transfer it to a piece of card you cool with that so we've got that because i've already done it look i'll show you there's a deer already transferred look what i just did i drew these though i drew these in and i thought that looked really cool so i thought well we could go there look let me hold it up to you let me offer it up so there's the tree 
transferred. I don't know what's happened to this one's. Looks like it's got a crash helmet on. <laughs> or, or earphones. Sound cancelers. Sound cancelling. You could hang the mistletoe from his antlers. Yes, Jane. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I drew these in and I thought, well, they're easy. Looks cool, doesn't it? So today's job uh, is to transfer the tree. See what I did do as well. Right, do you want to see what I was doing at seven o'clock this morning? Check out. I know. I like. I like that. I just, I just needed to calm my mind down. And so I, um, I made a small version on one of those BMRT stamp boards that we were selling yesterday. And I thought, yeah. And then the background, I just used, actually, if you wanna know how to get that kind of gritty, lovely blended background, I used, um, well, I used our polychromo. And then I used a darker blue as well. I had a darker blue going. And then I used um, a blending pen and dorso oil. And then that's how I got the lovely smooth graduation. But, and then I found a little, because it was missing something, a little je ne sais quoi. And so I took one of the snowflakes from yesterday and I thought, yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. But the jury is out at the moment on, on which, which words to use. So for example, so I grabbed this one because I thought actually I quite like this this kind of writing. I think goes really nicely with the, what we're drawing at the moment. This kind of writing, you know, that bit funky woo woo. So these are the tiny word chain, uh, the small ones, the wee word chains. And I thought, you know, you could put peace at or oh, there's a Christmas here, Christmas or peace on earth. I, that's why I've left this gap because I'm going to go for it. I might just put peace. Okay. Season's greetings. Yeah. So anyway, jury's out on, that's why I've left a gap. So I'm still contemplating that little job. So what we're going to do though, don't you find, uh, well, I just had to, just sat on my head and I wanted to do that before you all rocked up and so for me it, the easiest thing to do is just grab what I've got around me and also work towards something that might give you some ideas as well so that's what I've been doing for, the, for instead of clearing up my boxes I got caught up in that <laughs> well you do don't you and I'm not alone there Right, okay, are we ready? So we're gonna do the transfer. So what have I used? Well, I've used uh, the stencil card. So let's use a bit of stencil card and let's take the tree. So we need the tree, clean stencil card. Right, ingredients, you ready girls and boys? Take those out of the way, we're gonna use those later. Don't wanna lose all my bits because this is all valuable art, all my little templates. Don't know which, what I'm gonna put inside yet. But I need that, I need that. Don't need the deer, so I'll put him away. Stick him over there. This'll work. So I've done that once. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So now it's the it's the never-ending story. Now, this should work. There should there should be plenty of pencil to transfer there now. So what we want is a piece of low-tack masking tape so it doesn't take the card with it when you take it off again. Right, so we just pop that in the middle. And then we're gonna be nice. Do you know what? This would make a lovely, it doesn't have to always, be a card to make send, does it? This would just make a nice piece, you know, on the mantelpiece or above the fireplace, just framed or or standing on one of those little stands that we sell. Those, I'll show you what I've got on the phone. These little things, you know, just mount that up 
put that on there. What a nice little, nice little piece of your own artwork you could put out on display. Hmm? Now let's have a look. What have I got here? H H B. I'll try the H, the hard one. Let me just grab a little piece of. Okay, see, blacker than that H B. H B is blacker, but you can use whatever you've got. Don't be worrying about what I use. And then let me just see whether I've got actually any any um, lead or yeah, perfect. Right, we're on. So what we're going to do now is transfer. There we go. Transfer our image that we drew last week to best. Should work quite well. So I've done the star. Should we have a look to see if it's actually working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then when we've done the star, we will use. Um, sorry for sighing so loudly. We will use our micron pens. I'm wiped out. Do you know that? I'm absolutely wiped out. I'm not getting any younger. I'm um, 65 in March. It's Dave's birthday tomorrow. 68. Yeah. Don't look 68, though, that's for certain. Um, yeah. So it's, it's okay to just slow down. You know, I give myself permission to slow down. I count what I have done, not what I haven't done. You know, I do quite a lot for a 60. Four year old, I think, but I also think that it keeps you young. You know, if you can, you should. If you can't, well, then you you adapt, don't you? You do what you can do. Hang on, went a bit skewy. Let the artwork come to me. So, you know, like Sundays when we go on telly, this isn't a whinge, this is just me talking so that. There you go. So you know, listen to this. Right. So where's that? I had that yesterday somewhere. I need my little template with it. Um, so yesterday, Sunday, when we go on telly, and now I'm only there from three to five, and you think, well, it's only two hours. Well, hang on. Right? It is only two hours. You're absolutely right. See, I should be able to go like that and transfer that. Oh, look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so I get up at five o'clock in the morning, friends, on that Sunday. Paul's here by seven. We have a quick coffee. Then Dave sets us off. It takes about two and a half hours to get to Peterborough from here. I'll just get a ruler. You need a ruler. So Paul drives, bless him. I used to drive. I used to do it all alone. But to be honest, it's not so much the getting up there. It's the getting home in the after the show. I'm, I'm, I'm so knackered. <laughs> I, it's not very pleasant driving. So Paul, bless him, he always takes me. Isn't that kind? And he looks out for me and he helps me set everything up. So it's wonderful, really. And... Um, so we get up there really early because you can't really guarantee, you know, with the traffic, it, for anybody who's not familiar, we have to go over, through the Dartford Tunnel because we get on the M25, which is a, a road. This is for our, for our foreign friends. There's, a, there's London, right, and there's, a, there's a, an orbital, a, a road that goes all the way around. If you get on the M25, you could spend the rest of your life just going round and round and round. So we're down here. But we've got to get up there. But we have to go over the Thames. The River Thames runs through London, right? So we have to go under the Thames. When you're going anti-clockwise, you go under the Thames. When you're coming home, you go over the Thames. So you go over a bridge. So, but you, that's a real gridlock. Like the traffic around that area is savage at any time. There are always worse times. Sunday morning is not so bad, but from six o'clock in the morning, any other day, until 
<laughs> until midnight, it's chaos, okay? So, you know, you, and the one thing you don't want to be is late for a TV show. So we go really, really early. And that, help, that kind of, I've never, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. I've got it. Where's the wood? Where's the wood? Who, hey, who, what? Right. Um, touch wood, never missed a day. You know, the hour, I've never missed, not in 15, 16 years have I missed a TV show. When they're earlier in the morning, I go the night before. Don't even think about it. Um, yeah, so so we get up there. We were up there early, 10 o'clock or so, and then we have to start setting up the counter. So we have to get all the product out, and then we go through, we go through everything, and we make sure that this all looks lovely for the cameras. And we set it all up and we make sure it's all lovely. And then when we've done that, we, I put my makeup on, that takes a while. <laughs> People, I might have to do that again over on that one. People say, who does your makeup? Well, who do you think does my makeup? <laughs> I do my makeup. Um, mind you, saying that, I remember doing QVC TV in Germany. And oh, and then HSE in Munich, another German television channel, and they they insisted on doing my makeup. Oh my word! You know, I said to them, "Don't whatever you do, bit it. Don't put uh, eyeliner on the on the underline. Don't put anything on underneath because it makes me look really evil." <laughs> So what do they do? They give me black eyebrows and then they put a line underneath my eyes because they said it makes them bigger. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so I look like something out of, like a Chucky doll, you know, like really frightening. <laughs> so I said, danke, 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 danke. Got out of the makeup room, went straight in the bathroom, wiped it all off again and started again. <laughs> and I could see the makeup woman looking at me like, mm, she looks different. Yeah. So, no, no, I make my own makeup. I'll do my own makeup. Thank you very much. I'll do that on the other side. Have we got everything here? Yeah, we have. Right, this is a piece of cake, isn't it? So I've got that. Um, and then I think I'll go, I'll do this. I'll do this. There you go. We'll do that by hand. And then we'll do the inside of the wheels by hand. Yeah, so put makeup on, that takes a while. Put a nice top on, because you're going to see the top part. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, yeah, and then, and then we have a meeting. We have to have a technical meeting with the staff, the producer, the presenter, the floor crew, um, the camera crew, etc., etc. So we go through, we make a plan. How are we going to handle it? How are we going to do it? How long are we going to do? It? Are we going to? So yesterday was quite cool because I said, I said, I really, I think people are fed up with going down the counter. So what about instead of just going down the counter for 15 minutes, how about we start with a little demo so that friends know what it is we're doing? Well, then of course we did that and then nobody bought anything. I thought, oh, that wasn't a clever move. But I think it was. I think it's more entertaining. So, so that's that's what we do in the technical meeting is decide where we're going to start, where we're going to go, how we're going to handle it. Okay. So that was interesting. So we did that. Right now, let's just get on top of what we're doing here. Right, we've done that, and now we've got to ink it up. You cool with that? So to ink it up, we need a O O one. Should we go O one on the um, micron pens? Let's do 01. So we do 01. Yeah, so in the meantime, when I'm when I'm on telly, when we go live, what you'll what you probably are aware if you watch at all, but what you'll notice is I've got stuff to the right of me, which is all these boxes, right? And the boxes, it's all see these boxes here. So these not now. After the show, I just sling it all in. I really just want to get out of the building. But so these are all exactly which ink pad, which nib, which pencils. It's all in each box. 
and they're all numbered. This was demo number four, etc., etc. I know, mad. But hey, listen, if you were going on the telly, my little tummy hanging out. If you were going on the telly, you'd be well prepared too, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I am to the nth degree. It's the it's the obsessive compulsive in me. Yeah, and also it allays the fear. <laughs> If you know what you're doing, it makes you feel a lot more relaxed. Um, so, so I've got all this gear, and then we start. And because I haven't got talk back, <laughs> oh, there is a method in my madness. I don't do talk back because that way, one, I haven't got voices in my head saying this camera, that camera. I can see which cameras are working. I shouldn't be looking at the camera anyway, right? But um it helps me concentrate on what i'm doing and i just hand over the show to the presenter for me the presenter is the lead in the show and i just follow his lead it might not look like it but that's the truth of it so so that way he hands over to me i do a demo i hand back to him we have a bit of banter and it works very well really you know i mean other 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 guests do it differently, but that's how I roll, you know, it works for me. Um, so then I start working through the demos and tricks and tips. All I keep saying to myself is tricks and tips, tricks and tips, tricks and tips. Not full blown demos, haven't got time, just tricks and tips. And then what happens is I go off on a tangent and I think, oh, I know. And then I start, like last yesterday, I started winging it because I think, oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Let me show you what you do with this corner. And let me show you what, and what happens if we add this. And, and I genuinely, it's not, it's not made up, I genuinely go off piste. I just, I don't know. Because I think, I wonder if that would work. And then I'm in the zone and off we go. And then I can tell then, ah, lots of people are, um, their interest is peaked now. See? So I can tell without having to talk back that sales have kicked in, which is, let's face it, it is Selly Telly. That is what it is all about. It's a shopping channel. So, so I can't, I can't do full blown demos you know, and hog all the demonstration. That's what this is all about, isn't it? This is what the moments of clarity are about, you know, the YouTubes. That's a different thing. Selly telly, selly telly. And I always think that, um, you know, Hochanda especially, when it was Hochanda, they were so good about letting us demonstrate. So good. Let's see what we've got here. And still I'm allowed to pretty much, to be honest, they let me get away with murder there. There's n nobody ever says. I don't think it's because they're. <laughs> you probably think, yeah, they're probably terrified of it. No, I don't think they are. But they know it works. Whatever you know, whatever she does, it obviously works. So let her get on with it. I think that's more. You know, that's the way it works. I don't think. I don't think it's that they're frightened of me. Well, I hope not. Um. And a two-hour session is quite a long. Right, keep your eye on the road ahead when you're doing this. Right, a two-hour session is quite a long um, TV slot, you know. It's really a long TV slot. I remember doing my first hour at QVC. Did I ever tell you about when I did the QVC show? <laughs> now, that was different. In Dusseldorf, um, I didn't do QVC in this country, but I did it in, in Germany. And... Um, <laughs> They have a completely different way. So, first thing was, I went all the way to Dusseldorf for a screen test and I failed it. Oh no. Dum. Really? Yeah, I failed it. Nine, 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 Zorni, Zorni, Zorni. And I thought, blimey, I've only been doing this for about 14 years. What am I doing wrong? Right? But it wasn't the QVC way. I had to go back. <laughs> <laughs> another screen test this is attached to a great deal of money you know fly in fly out fly in fly in. so 
So then we get to go to the actual, we go live. So we're doing the show right now. Let me just get this right. So I'll, do, I'll leave those bits. Let's come round here and let's go, let's make these, these bits. Let's do this, right? Okay, ready? Yeah, so I go back and then they say, they say that what, the reason that I failed the screen test was because I was too slow. Okay. Okay, I was too slow. Took it on board, understood. Too slow it is. So then the way they did it, they got loads and loads of counters, right? So when you get there, if you've got if you've got four stamp sets, like yesterday we had four stamp sets, um, stamp sets would be on one table, you sell them, then then say the ink pads are on another table, you sell them. And I said, well, yeah, but you need the ink pads to go with the stamps. You can't, can't sell the stamps without the ink pads, really. So there was a bit of a debate about that, and they allowed me an ink pad. You know, it was that kind of thing. It was really quite bizarre. So I thought, well, how, how am I selling that without that? They go together. Anyway, so we had these tables, and you had to, you laid up the table. So you put your stuff on, and I had like 11 tables outside. Yeah? It was like a carousel. So I had these 11 tables, which I managed to find. And then I had like the brayer on one table and um, and the stamps on another table. And then I had an ink pad, you know, and then pencils on another table. It was like, so whereas on Create and Craft, I'm allowed to grab everything and we pull it up and we sell it in a, it's very project centric if you think about it, right? Well, on QVC, it's completely product centric, right? Which I'm not saying a bad thing, I learned so much, I really did, and it made me change the way I do TV here. It really did. It's, I'm definitely more product-centric post-QVC than I was pre-QVC, 100%, right? So, is this interesting? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Giving you a bit of insight. So let's have a look. We've done that and that, and, uh, and now we'll do the dots. Not many. Right, because you can always add them, but can't take them away. So we're going to use the dots, right, to get some shadow going. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's start. Let's start at the top. Um, so I had about eleven counters. Okay, if you want the dots to make a shadow, then what you've got to do, come in a bit tighter. Come on in. Right. Okay. So we got these 11 counters, right? Also, <laughs> so, they, so I got this manual, manual how to behave, right? It was like that. It was like a I mean, catalog. And there was a bit about dress code. And in the dress code, this, they would have thrown me out, right? It had to be very vanilla, very plain, no patterns, no stripes, nada, right? It had to be beige, boring beige. So... So I went to a posh shop in Tunbridge Wells and I bought the most boring beige outfit I could find. But it was very smart, but it had it was neutral, properly neutral, right? Because that's what it said in the manual. <clears throat> and I wasn't going to go back a third time. So, so I had my boring beige outfit. And then on the day of the show, the presenter, uh, here's the next thing. So the presenter, I hadn't met her prior to the show. N no communication, right? Absolutely didn't know who the presenter was going to be. And um, and then this lady rocked up, like literally a minute before the show. And she had one of those. <laughs> she was really like, yeah, it was a friendly, lovely lady. But she had um, she had one of those tank tops on, you know, like golfers in the, in the 80s used to wear really bright orange. <laughs> like, like, I thought, well, you didn't. You obviously didn't read the manual, did you? <laughs> So that's me standing there in my boring beige, having wiped my blinking black eyebrows off <laughs> that they'd given me. And then she's got this bright orange and lime green tank top. I thought, well, there you go. Different strokes for different folks. So we start. She didn't, I had some groovy plates on the first counter. She didn't know 
the diff she didn't know what they were she didn't know what they did and that and I had four minutes on this particular table to explain to the German nation what groovy plates were. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, then the bell rings. This, so I'm going, like, and she didn't know whether they were stamps or what they were. So I'm explaining what they are, trying to show with a bit of artwork, bearing in mind I'm not allowed to use anything apart from um, the tool, no color, right? So this is the pitch, right? So I, I've got the number one tool, I've got a bit of parchment, and I've got a, the starter kit, a little baby starter kit. Then the bell rings four minutes in, ding, ding. And then these two blokes come along and they wheel the table. I'm stood there mid-sentence and the table's gone. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and then she says something. Obviously, I speak German, so I did have an advantage. And the next table's wheeled in in front of me. So it's like next meal, next course. So then we're doing something else. I can't remember what exactly. I just remember. I remember these blokes walking away with the with the starter kit thinking, well, I'll be. Now what? So then by the third time, then the bell rings, this table goes. I didn't even have that table for a minute. It was not what we'd agreed. In, yeah. so, so then that table's gone. Ding, ding. Gone again. And the next table rolls out. So it's like this carousel. Anyway, by the third table, I just, I was like, ah, whatever, right, in my head. Just keep smiling, keep smiling, do whatever's in front of you. Then the bell rings, off it goes again. And at one point, I had a brayer in my hand, and I was just about to use it. <laughs> ding, ding. And I was hanging on to the table. I said, I'm not finished. Been only fitty. And these guys were tearing this table off me, bringing the next table in. I thought, why? Well, OK. By this time, I worked out if I hung on to something, I might be able to use it on the next table. Right? <laughs> so these tables were going around. Ding, 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 ding. Game over. Right? And then she looked at me, the lady in the golfing tank top, thumbs up. And then she was on to the next set and another presenter was in and I was out. So I stood there like, what happened? Right. And then I could see the buyer coming towards me like in slow motion, smiling. So I thought, well, it couldn't have been all bad then. Right. Because he obviously didn't have to talk back to QC. So he's come towards me and he's like, wonderbar, wonderbar, fantastic. And I said, and I said to him, what's with the bells? What was with all the bells all the time? And he said, every time you sold out, the bell rang. And we had to move that because they can't sell anything that they haven't got. So he said, as soon as you sold out, the counter had to be moved. So it was a sellout after a sellout after a sellout after a sellout. And I and I thought, I wished that I'd known that during that hour because I had no idea. It could have meant you're rubbish. It's not working. Could have meant a million things. I cannot tell you what what an experience that was. Yeah, sell out. Ding 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 ding. Sell out. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. And that was how I, but I have to say, I'm very grateful for what I learned there. It was a real uh, boot camp, you know? Right, so when you do these dots now, sorry, I waffle. I waffled. I forgive me. Travelling gently today. Yeah, so... <laughs> It was some experience, but you know, I'm grateful because I, I learned, I learned so much about how, how to stay focused, I think. That was it. It was about how to stay focused, not go off piste, stick to what you're selling. Stick, and if you actually think about it, if you do watch me, I can't speak for anybody else. I can only speak for myself. But if you if you do watch me, you'll see that I never I never deviate from from what I'm what I'm what's on the pole, what's what's on the counter, you know, what we've got available to sell. I don't go off at a tangent and start start showing. My job is not to show you that I'm good. My job is to sell what's on the counter. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. And and I learnt that in in no uncertain terms at QVC in Düsseldorf. They were very very friendly, you know. It wasn't. It wasn't. There was a lot of pressure. 
it was a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. Cool, yeah. You know, you had, and all the all the product, and I'm talking a juggernaut. Not it wasn't small amounts, believe you me. Nowhere like what we do now. This is this is a a, a walk in the park compared to that. This was thousands of units. Wasn't it? And so we would send a juggernaut, and the juggernaut, when it got to the warehouse in Dusseldorf, it had a, it had like a fifteen-minute window. And if you didn't get that, if that driver didn't get that juggernaut into that window within that fifteen minutes, then you started incurring penalties. You know, stress, 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 stress. Didn't enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it. Very lucrative. Didn't enjoy it. And you know what? Not all business is good business. I learned that one a while ago too. And um, so it was a bit. It was just hard, it was hard. And then the worst bit for us was the returns, right? They have a policy so that the customer, and this is like, it distressed us Im immensely. So, so they have a returns policy, right? And, and when the customer sends, sends the stuff out, they can use it for up to, I don't know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So they make all their Christmas cards. They can, they can do whatever they like. And then when they, then they've had enough, they just send it back and get a refund. But the refund then gets docked from our money. And then we have to pay to get it back, sent back to England. And then these great big, um, like dumpsters of all our beautiful product, I wept. When the first dumpster arrived, full of stuff that you can't use anymore, you can't use it. You might as well have thrown it away in Dusseldorf and spared us the cost of having it returned. And it was just destroyed, and all the stamps and the beautiful. And I just looked at it and I thought, no way. You know, I cried my eyes out. And I don't think we did much more. I think that was when we said, no, I'm not doing it anymore. Because it was so soul destroying, you know, it was really soul destroying to have. To have that happen, to have all that return. See, on Create and Craft, minimal, we, we get absolutely minimal returns, you know, because you know our quality. We don't sell to it. We don't sell rubbish. So there's no, there is no real reason to send it back. Not my cup of tea. Didn't like the design. Well, you know, so it was pretty, it was upsetting. And, um, and so we stepped back from QVC in Germany because because we couldn't afford it. And also it wasn't, it wasn't, it just wasn't enjoyable. You know, it was too, too stressful. We had a meeting at work, had a meeting at work, the managers, you know, like the people that make decisions at work. And I said, right, hands up if you... Don't want to do QVC. Six hands around the table, six hands went up. So there you go. That's it. That's the decision made. It was a unanimous call. Do you know? So, um, but that said, I learned loads. I learned on the occasions when I did go, you know, and I had a vast, I had such an advantage over any other um, English uh, guests because. I speak the language, you know, so I didn't need an interpreter. And they liked me, the, the public liked me. It seemed to, didn't they? Certainly liked the product. And um, and QBC didn't want to let us go either. They were really not happy when I backed off, but I just couldn't, couldn't justify it really. And I think for me, the clincher, was when we received that dumpster. You get that, don't you? All that work. I, I mean, if we just bought it in from China and then sold it on, whatever, you know, you, you just, you, you, you factor that into the cost, I suppose. But when you, when you make and you clean and you bag every single blimmin' thing that goes out of your cupboard, I'm telling you, should we put a few dots? Do you know what? I think that would look quite good. A few dots in there. Um, yeah. It's a different dynamic. Do you know that? When you hand make everything and you know the bloke that's made it and you know the person that's actually cleaned that plate and then, and then, oh, no, no, no. It was really, it wasn't just me that was upset, believe you me. 
So yeah, because I know people wondered why we we went in, did all the you know, and then backed off pretty sharpish really. But you understand, not all business is good business. It's the way it is. And um, so we retreated. <laughs> we we retreated, friends. Yeah. And so back to Create and Craft. I'm very grateful to be on Create and Craft. I was very grateful to be on her channel. They can put any name they like over the door. You know, they're kind. They're um, they're switched on. Those guys work so hard. You know, like Adam yesterday, the presenter. He is going like the clappers. So is the producer. So is the 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 cameraman. They're going like the clappers. These people. You know, and so am I. <laughs> Two hours, right? Pulls in and out of the gallery, trying to work it out. You know, make sure we've got enough stock to keep going, and so on, and so on, and so on. But it's 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 okay because I've got the power of comparison. Yeah, no ding, ling, ling, no ding, 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 and then take the product away. They let me finish. Let me finish what I'm doing. Very respectful, I like that. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? But by the time the two hours are up, you know, even one hour is long, that's pressure. But um, by the time the, um, I'm just going to free, go for it, this one. Then I'm going to go again, um, closer, just so that we've got something to colour in. There we are. Nice. Um, by the time the two hours are up, I'm pretty wiped out, I have to say, you know. Well, not, not straight away. There's quite a lot of adrenaline to begin with. Like that'll do. So we've done that. We're going to do this one in the middle. Come on then. Have you got, which one do you want to do in the middle? Have you got, have you got a, a preference? I think I'm going to do this one. Um, it's about half an hour afterwards. We hit the road. Paul's really good. He does all the clearing up and that. I just go and chat to whoever's in the studio and Paul does it all for me bless him um yesterday I was chatting to Carly I love Carly H we're old mates so I had to chat to Carly while Paul loaded the car and and if I were driving myself you see I'd get as far as Cambridge and then it hits you like a sledgehammer there you go see it does, it just hits you. The adrenaline seems to subside and then I just snore. I just um, fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, so we got home. Traffic was quite dense last night. It was busier than usual. We got home. When did Paul drop me off? Uh, eight, 8.30, something like that. Long day. And you think when we got up to when we got back, so no wonder it's taking me a while to sort this tree out. Yeah, right, let's have a look. Deer, should we put the deer in? Come on, put the deer. Hopefully this will work. Let me just check. This. Yeah, that's good enough. You see, I think that... Um, Can you imagine doing this on live television and getting away with it? You can't, can you? That's why I know I like, don't do a lot of colouring in. You know, here's one I did earlier and then I, I chase to the next thing. And, and what you have to know is it's called post-traumatic QVC disorder. You just know. You have a feel for how much time you've got and I you know I know sometimes people get frustrated because they think there's not enough demo time you know the truth of the matter is we get loads of demo time compared to really we do we do we do it's all relative isn't it there you go that do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
think I might use the 05 on this little fella. Have a look. Yeah, 005. And um, let me just check on the little scrap. That's it. It's just a little bit finer than the 01. And um, I, you know, when I was in when I was in Düsseldorf, I was very grateful for the opportunity, and I was very grateful for the opportunity at High HSE, HSE in um, in Munich. We, I was there for years. I did that. I did that for years, and um, and learnt loads. You know, learnt loads. Always learning. Every day is a school day on shopping telly in Germany and we were either gonna we we actually we had an invitation to go to HSN in um, in the States and we went through all the preliminaries and we we had zoom meetings and we really did uh, with you know with important people as well. And they loved our product. You know, the whole KISS range. We developed that KISS range, you know, because we, we thought that would be lovely at HSN. Um, and we developed a beautiful range of KISS, KISS range, you know, keep it simple stuff. And we had the Zoom meeting and we pitched it and there were six people in the States, you know, vetting what we did and who I am and all that. And they invited us and they were really keen to trot. They were good. To, they were, we were good to go. And then lockdown. Bosh. There you go. And then then the pandemic hit us and and the whole the whole dynamic changed. And clearly, you know, we came out of we came out of lockdown still still with an open invitation to do hsn but you know their situation had changed they were still keen for us but and i'm not i'm you know i'm not saying that for any other reason that we we took the decision you know because we were three years older and we took the decision to to step back from that and my dad was ill and you know, I was just—I thought I don't know if I can, I can go and do that. I don't, you know, it was too much going on here, friends. To, you know, and you, you know, money's never been my driver. I'm not an empire builder. Never have been. My my philosophy has always been get better, not bigger. The size will change. If the better you are, you know, the bigger you'll get anyway. You don't have to. And we didn't burn the bridge or anything. We have a good relationship. Grace has a great relationship with the people at HSN. You know, it's not that. It's not that at all. We didn't. We didn't burn the bridge. There was nothing acrimonious about it. We just said at the time it wasn't. You know, it hasn't gone away. It's just. It's mothballed. You know. There we are. They look so good, don't they? We're we going to do those doughy eyes. Yeah, and I don't think I'm telling you anything that I shouldn't tell you. I'm just speaking the truth, just telling you the way it was. We didn't shout about HSN because it wasn't a, um, it never happened. So why would I shout about something that didn't happen? You know. Um, at, no, doe eyes. Let me think, doe eyes. Let's do a doe eye. I'm going to do a doe eye. So they've got droopy eye, eye like that. That's the way we're going to do it, if you like. And then and then the black goes there like that. So this bit here is the doe eye, that bit. And the bigger this, the doughier the eye gets. See? So you can make a real doughy eye like that. Just bring this up a bit. So as soon, as soon as you bring that down, it gets more serious. So you that the higher that bit goes, the sadder they look. See? So have a little play on a scrap. Interesting, huh? Aye, aye. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So there you go. 
it's a nice and if you get a uh, you can put a bit of a, a lid look see and the lid just makes it softer well, that's interesting isn't it there you go my granddad taught me how to draw eyes my english granddad i remember always we used to we used to lived in Harlesden, uh london that is and uh, we used to go and see nan and granddad 59 leghorn road Harlesden, and we'd go and see them on a sunday and he'd um it was nice. He, he used to get a drawing pad out and he'd say, right, what are we going to draw today then, Barbara? I'd say, you tell me. And he'd say, we can do eyes, we can do hands, we can do ears, you know. And, and so he taught me how to draw faces and body parts and that. Cool. Nice. He was talented. He was good. But he never, he, he didn't come from a wealthy enough family to buy the uniform to go to art college. There you go. Interesting. But he was good. He was a very, very, very nice man, actually. There, so we've got the eyes, got a little doe eye there, yeah. That looks a little bit big, doesn't it, that bit? But it's too late, can't do anything about it. Live with it. It's got a bit of a, uh, it looks more like a cactus than an antler. But it's all right, because it's out of front, so you've got a bit of perspective there, people. Yeah. Nice. He's looking behind him. That'll do. So we've got that in. We've done that. Come on, we've got 10 minutes. We're going to put these deer. We're we going to put the deer. Should we put the twigs in? Come on, then. These are easy. We could do these straight away. Let's just go straight in, shall we? We'll do an HB because it's easier to rub out afterwards. Okay. Might want to practice it on a piece of scrap first. How to do a. See, if you bought the stamps, you could just go bish, bosh, bish. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, so you can do a twig like that. Let's do a twig on a bit. There you go. So we'll do a twig. Let's do this one here. So you're going to come around like that. And then this, so the top part, this is easy, look. Let's just do that. There you go. That's the top part. Then we'll do another twig. We'll, come, we'll work from the... And they they look better if they're a bit random yeah this one can come like that and then here we go that'll do so you're just going to work your way up then you can make that one stick out that way it doesn't have to be see they don't have to all look in the same direction there you go and then this one will bring it down like that <clears throat> See, to be honest, for me, and it might not be the most lucrative thing in the world to do the shack, but if if money is my if money is my gauge, then that's right. That's true what I've just said. But but it's not. And so i this is a very uh, rewarding in so many different ways for me. Look, see, that's cool, isn't it? And and for me. I'd far rather do this, and I get paid in different ways. I get paid in very different ways by doing the shack with you guys. It's, an, it's not about the money, it's nothing to do with the money. There you go. See, isn't that nice? Um, so for me, I'd far rather hang out with you and chat away and doodle and keep you company and you keep me company and you keep each other company to me that's far 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 more um important than than hustling to make a buck on shopping television in germany or in the united states because that would really suck can you imagine we could just about keep up with the little english television channel and not that it little but imagine if it were, you know, HSN, the States. Can you? Well, we couldn't keep up with the German production, let alone the American. Can't begin to think how much they they would order in. And it's all sale or return, you know. So if it doesn't sell, then you've got to pay to get it all back again. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. I love our Mondays. <laughs> I do. I love our Mondays. 
right come on let's get these let's get these twigs in uh i would say we're going to go with an, a one and i'm just going to actually i'm going to put them in, in pencil first and then i can rub them out when the ink's dry so i'm going to come i'm going to put one there like that and then i'll put another one there like that right let's do those two first and we'll start with the one at the bottom and then we can go from there so we just want to put this in i think you know you you can't get to 64 without having a few experiences can you now hey eh? I, I i i'm grateful for the opportunities and um and i bet we would have done all right if we'd if we'd pursued the hsn I bet it would have been all right but it would have been a a lot of pressure a lot of pressure and with my dad and nah and with dave you know his health's not 100 percent, and i just thought no i can't be doing that i can't i've already i'd already had the qvc experience so i kind of had a rough idea what I was letting myself in for and i thought nah no 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 you can investigate things doesn't mean you have to do them does it Hmm? We probably would have if um, if COVID hadn't happened, to be honest. I reckon we probably would have gone for it. Especially with Grace being there. You know? Start at the bottom. Are you drawing this with me or am I on my own? Hey? It's easy, this is, isn't it? But it looks so nice when it's done. And all because I did tell you yesterday. And I had that horrible pressure feeling. The first half hour when it wasn't shifting. I thought, oh no, all this work, all these stamps, what are we going to do with all these stamps? And now we've got to make more because we sold out and then some. See, you just don't know, do you? <laughs> So I'm really grateful to be with you, hanging out here. So tomorrow, Paul's on Groovy Tuesday. So that'll be fun for all you parchers. And then, so this is gonna look really nice, you know, when it's done. Um, so Paul's doing Groovy Tuesday. And, um, and then on Thursday, 11 o'clock and three o'clock, Tina's doing the Pergamano show. She's got some smashing. If anybody did the retreats with us, she's launching and she's going to be showcasing the new plates that she designed specifically for the retreats, which are pretty formidable. Um, yeah, they're great. They, it was a whole new concept, really, uh, a, a plate make for baby plates and, and a whole layering concept. Um, so I think that that will be very popular. Well, I hope so. Um, it was a real big hit at the retreats. So if our if our friends there are anything to go by, I think we're going to be fine. Um, and then these ones, you see. You can, so she's on at 11 o'clock and at 3 o'clock on Thursday. And then... Um, and then it's quiet, really, until next week. And then, then off we go again, Paul and I, up to TV World. And that's okay. It's okay. We're lucky. We're lucky that we even have the TV shows. That's the fact. Yeah. And we're lucky that they're so kind and so relaxed and everything's so... Easy, it's really easy. It's an easy place to work. And that's not a bad thing, is it? See, that do. Maybe one more. One more one there. There you go. It's going to look really pretty, isn't it? Look, see, we'll put one in there, bring one down there. But see how it's just, it's just simple, isn't it? So there you go. And it sounds like it's 11 o'clock on the nose. And, um, and don't forget, 
Thursday evening, it's the shack again. So you and I are going to hang out on Thursday evening, if you fancy, and we can finish this up. We can add a little bit of colour. Um, we'll tackle the deer. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So you've got between now and Thursday to, um, to catch up, if you like, have a little go. And then on Thursday, we'll finish this project. I think that's another good thing about meeting twice a week because it gives us, it means that we can be twice as creative, really, because we've got twice as much time. It's all good. It's all good. I hope you have a lovely, a lovely uh, week. And I'll see you on Thursday. Now, don't forget Tina at 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock, all you parchers. Oh, uh, yeah. See you Thursday. Yeah. Lots of love. Go easy. and. Um, Enjoy each day as it comes. Bye-bye now. And thanks, Paul, for your help. Uh, this is the wrong one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bye. Bye-bye.